Okay guys, in this video I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of the system. You can see here on the left side, we have starting from the overview section, which is the first three videos. This is the third of three videos, okay? Um, and then we're going to get into getting started with YouTube. Now this is where most of the work is done inside YouTube and you're going to find some things um, that we're doing here that you might never have seen before. You're going to find some ninja kind of tricks and hacks that we can use for YouTube. Okay, so make sure you go through every single video of that section. Then we're going to be covering the website optimization. Okay, because as I mentioned before in the previous video that we can use CTR clicks on YouTube videos to be able to rank web pages for those same keywords that you're getting CTR clicks from by putting one link in the description. Whatever that link is, whether it's a landing page or a blog post, etc., that will start to rank. In fact, it will actually start to overtake the YouTube video um, if the YouTube video is ranking in Google. So this is really important, but there's some things, some nuances that you want to understand before you do that, okay? There's some um, specific things that needs to happen. Now, beyond the website optimization for the CTR stuff, we also have to think about the optimization for the actual page. Now, I will be using a landing page, okay, for my um, case study. I'm using the landing page because, as I mentioned before, I want to build an email list and there's goals behind the landing page as well. Um, beyond just collecting an email, we will have remarketing pixels for multiple social ad platforms that I may or may not use later, but I'm going to build the audiences because it's very quick and easy to do anyway. So I'm building it, building it like an asset that I can tap into any time that I want. Also, when people do give an email address and opt in, then I want to redirect them, okay? And plus, when people go to leave the page, then I want to put something there to get them to stay on my content, maybe send them over to a giveaway or a contest, okay? So all of that is gonna be covered in the website optimization section, and also for doing some A-B testing in the quickest and easiest ways to be able to do that as well. It's kind of important that we do that so that we can increase the results that we get from the real traffic. The real traffic is coming from the CTR campaigns. Now the CTR campaigns themselves are very, very quick and easy to do. They literally take about one minute each to set up and you will see us creating multiple of those and you will see that within um, the SERP attack section over here. Now, before we get to running SERP attack, we need to have some second tier backlinks coming to the YouTube video. This is what the old basic core rank attack SEO system was. It was basically create a video, do some CTR clicks with the video. And at the same time, what I did at that particular time was create about 200 or 300 um, video embeds on video sharing sites using the exact same video and all of those were linking back into the YouTube video okay and I would also have a link going to the web page that was linked to from the YouTube video that one link in the description that's what I used to do before that can still work but there's some nuances some new things as well that we need to add into that to make it effective okay so that you want to watch um, those particular videos so the backlink strategies and um, beyond um, doing like video sharing sites there's multiple new things that we can do okay and new in terms of for my system for the rank attack seo system because at that particular time we had a tool one of my tools called video send alpha we've since retired that tool um partly because it's so easy now you can go into AppSumo, you can pick up a tool for 40 50 bucks that will syndicate your videos to 40 live streaming sites with one piece of content that you can do in a single click so you know at that point when it gets to the, that inexpensive it's hard to compete with those kind of tools and so the amount of maintenance needed on, on video send off, I decided to retire it because it wasn't really worth maintaining when we had that kind of competition for doing a similar kind of thing and even with more sites than what we used. So um, a lot of the, the, the websites that we used at that particular time as well, we were using some Web 2.0 backlinks, but those have all been kind of spammed um, you know, pretty heavily over the years. And <clears throat> those strategies go back to <clears throat> sort of 2014 2015 time 
um, when it was actually quite effective. But today, there's multiple new things that we can do. We can take one piece of content, for example, and we can do a press release with it and get 400 backlinks from high domain authority sites that are not over spam and that m many people are not using because they don't know how to write a simple press release, for example, but we can use just a basic template to be able to do that. So that with that one piece of content, we can embed a video, we can pull links, we can fill out a template within about seven minutes, and we can syndicate it from a press release service that can get us 200 to 400 links plus some Google News syndication as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the backlink strategies, we're gonna cover that. There's a whole bunch of different backlink strategies. Um, you don't have to use all of them, okay? And I won't be using all of them, but I will tell you what they are and what can be effective so you can make your own decisions, what you want to use, and maybe you want to test different ones at different times, okay? Um, then we get into the SERP attack campaigns. As I mentioned before, we can do campaigns literally in one minute. It's so quick, so easy to do, okay? All you need is your video URL to begin with for YouTube videos, okay? and you need some keywords, okay? And if you got that, then you can run these campaigns in less than a minute, okay? It's that quick, that easy, but we can do multiple kinds of um, CTR campaigns, as well as bulk campaigns as well, like direct to URL. We can even do it with backlinks, so you can actually go and visit the pages that have got your backlinks and click through on your backlinks into your wherever it was backlink to, backlinking to, whether it's a landing page or a blog post and start to do high retention views on your blog post, for example. Okay, so with the CTR stuff, what we can do as well is we can do it for playlists. Okay, and we can even take playlists and syndicate the playlist within multiple channels that you control. Okay, you can take a playlist and have it automatically mixed. Okay, so the order of the playlist is mixed and it's syndicated to other channels that you control okay we've got tools to do that as well we'll be looking at doing um the ctr clicks from from youtube from bing from yahoo and um, we'll be looking at doing ctr clicks from um not just like the playlist where you watch the whole video but we can actually do it for just the first video on the playlist so that that's your video and so that you're putting your video in a playlist with other people's content that Google is already ranking, for example, and you put your video at the top so that your video is getting all of the views for that. Okay, so there's a lot of that kind of stuff that we've already got built in, tools already built into Sepatite that we can use. And we can run five or six different CTR campaigns very quickly because don't forget, power of SERP attack is that we are using crowdsourced SEO, okay? We're using other people's IPs to be able to do this. So that gives us a lot more flexibility because we're able to do that. So when I create a campaign and I assign it to a group within um, the membership, okay, within the web app, I can assign it to different groups. We've got multiple different groups. Um, who, with, with each group has different members, etc. Then we can start getting these CTR clicks done with different IPs um, from all of those different members that are within the group. Okay, so there's multiple ways that we can use it and that gives us that flexibility, that extra power, that extra bang that we need to be able to run multiple campaigns. So that it's not just about whether we can get rankings, but whether we can get rankings, use the different IPs, get more traffic and do different strategies within the CTR stuff, playlists, blog posts, uh, blog browsing, GMB. You can even do it with YouTube Shorts. And with your YouTube Shorts, you can be linking to another video or, or, or end screen to another video, etc., so that you can get more um, retention on those particular videos as well. You can get these referral visits as well from the backlinks, um, browsing and, and click through, etc., as well. So there's multiple things that we can do there. And that makes it all very, very exciting as far as the SEO stuff is concerned because literally it takes a minute for, for each campaign. You can be done in five minutes and have about six or seven different campaigns set up all in a drip feed over 30 days. And so everything is looking more natural because it's coming from all different IPs, okay? So that's what we'll be covering in the SERP attack. And then beyond that, 
we get into the controlled warm traffic. This is where that remarketing audience comes in. That's where the email list that you've been building comes in. That's where um, having um, social media groups, for example, can come in. Um, that's where we can use um, places like Twitter and Reddit to be able to get even more traffic. There's a whole bunch of different things that we can do there. So we will look at some of the strategies and the quick and easy to do strategies that we can use there. You can even use Quora for this. Um, and you can even do some CTR clicks from Quora um, for your embedded YouTube video with SERP attack as well, which can help to boost it as well. Okay. And then at the end, <clears throat> you will see there's a section here called tools and resources. Okay. This is where you can find the tools that I'm talking about. Many are free. Some are premium. Some are mine that I might give away some of these as a bonus as we go along. Okay. So make sure you watch every video because if I'm giving away as a bonus, I'm going to mention it in the video so that you know that you can write into support and say, hey, can I get that particular tool? I'm a customer. Okay. So rather than just put the link under the video where people are starting to collect all different tools and not actually use them and not follow the system. I want to give it to people who take the time to watch the videos and so any bonuses will only be mentioned in the videos. Okay, so watch out for that as well. So that's a walkthrough of what we're going to cover. Next, we're going to get into the real stuff. Okay, we're getting started with YouTube and we're going to get started with um, writing down our goal, and then we're going to get started with the type of video, mapping it out, the video script needed for that type of video, the length of video. Are we going to do a YouTube Shorts video to boost it as well? Are we going to do a YouTube Shorts or a short video that we can use for video ads as well? All of that kind of stuff we're going to cover in the next section of getting started with YouTube. And you will see that as a big section. Okay. You need to go through all of that. Okay. You need to understand all of that. Because if you understand that why, you will the how becomes really super simple. And you will see things in there that you've probably never seen before, you never heard of before. So make sure that you go through every single video. <clears throat> and I'll try to keep them as short and as easy to follow as possible. But you need to go through it just to see that you, you don't miss out on anything, okay? I've got lots of little tricks and hacks within each you know, strategy that I build within YouTube and you will see some cool, cool stuff. Okay. If you're into the SEO stuff, then you're going to find some really cool stuff that you might never have thought about, but you will see how we can do it. And even better, how we automate it. And there might be some bonus tools in there as well as you're going through it. So don't miss them because the bonuses will not be mentioned underneath the video, only in the video. Okay. I'll see you there.